Hello! Well, today I want to talk about uh, somewhat of an extension of what I talked about last week, which was Annie Hall, but mostly about uh, sort of critiquing films. Um, as I said last uh, week, I'm not a, I don't review films, I just talk about them. And um, when it came to Annie Hall, it's one of those things I had a lot to say, and yet I didn't say much. I can't really put words to Annie Hall, because quite honestly, I kind of, I do find the film to be quite boring. Now, with that, when it comes to sort of critiquing films or criticizing them in some way, I have noticed a good portion of people don't like people saying Oh, you, you said this is boring. Uh, like, uh, without much explanation. And I, now, mm, that was never said on my comments of that video, but that's just overall in general. You said this was boring. Might not have given much, if any, reason as to why it was boring. It just was boring. For me... Uh, the humor of Woody Allen is pretty boring overall. Uh, I have listed films in the past of films I like of his, like uh, Midnight in Paris, I think is his greatest film he has ever made. I also enjoy Radio Days, Shadows and Fog, and Zelig, or just some others off the top of my head I enjoy, along with Midnight in Paris. With Annie Hall... The characters were uh, very annoying to me. They're very self-absorbed, sort of selfish characters. Woody Allen is really himself. Uh, you know, uh, Annie Hall, Diane Keaton's character. She's an aspiring singer, and she moves at some point. She goes to, not necessarily, but, well, that does happen, but basically she goes to Hollywood, uh, L.A., whatever, and she gets involved with people who are going to try to help her with her music career. You know, and Alvy is a comedian, and, you know, I don't know, it, I just found it very pretentious, which took any enjoyment I could have gotten out of the film, it, it took it out of for me. I'm not very fond of things that are very pretentious. Very rarely do I find that to be appealing in a movie, or a show, or anything of the sort. I can't think of anything that I do like where there's pretentiousness in a film that prominently, or at least that I can see, that I think is prominent throughout the film. I, I don't know, I just, I didn't like the characters. Uh, and I did think the film was boring, because most of the humor of Woody Allen I find to be fairly, not, aside from just unfunny, I think also boring. Again, I know that might not be the best critique of that, but I don't know, that's the only thing I can say, because otherwise if I find bigger words to say, people might not understand what I'm talking about, and I don't want to try and do that. I don't want to try to make myself seem smarter than I am. I don't want to make myself feel like, well, I'm smarter than you, the audience who's watching this video right now, and because you don't understand what I'm saying, oh, well, you're stupid. I don't want to say that, anything of the sort. I don't want to try and make that come across in my videos. But just know, if I think something is not very good or is boring, I'm, it might be hard for me to try and explain why. And I also went back to see some positive reviews of Annie Hall. But some people in review sites and stuff talk about the film, why they like it, and one thing I came across that struck out to me, or st struck, struck, can't even talk today, great. I couldn't talk last week, so I guess talking about this film just makes me so I can't talk. Can't form any sort of coherent thought. Hmm. It's weird. Anyway, uh, what's 
direct to me. I'm going to even stop even attempting to talk about that. But what stood out to me there, that's, that's what I wanted to say. What stood out to me was people saying what was ingenious about that film was how it showed people in L.A. are fake. Now, there's a lot of fake people in L.A. And I'm like, there's a lot of fake people everywhere. There's fake people in New York, fake people in Chicago, fake people in everywhere in the world. There's fake people in any, every town, essentially. Uh, there's at least one person that's fake. There's one person that'll at least, you know, maybe say, oh, I can do this and that for you. And then when it comes down to it, you know, nothing happens. Uh, you know, and I, I, I realized I didn't really go into much depth about Annie Hall into why I wasn't fond of it, but I sort of, if anything, skimmed the surface. But really, I'm like, you know, if I really went deep into it, really in depth, I would have been, I just would have gone into a rant. And I think I would have been bored. And, I would, and the video would have been boring. Because I'm, I, I'm not really fond of even talking about this film much. Outside of, like, I find it... Fairly, but pretty pretentious. Woody Allen is whiny throughout the whole film, which essentially is Woody Allen. He's just himself. That also has been pretty much, I don't know, that's really a big gripe I have with him acting. He can't act as in anybody but himself. It's always been a real problem for me. He always writes this character that's himself, if not the very lead. Somebody has some sort of quirk of Woody Allen in his works. Somewhere in his movies, and that's sort of often has also bugged me with the films that he, uh, d that I do enjoy. While that element is there and present, I don't know. Uh, I think the stories of like Midnight in Paris is a lot better. I think the character interactions in that film are a lot better, or in this film. Like Woody Allen tries to be make himself seem so smart and superior to others intellectually, to a point where it just really gets on my nerves. Where uh, Owen Wilson's character does similar things in you know uh, in Midnight in Paris as a similar sort of line of thinking because that's the Woody Allen character in that film. But I think it's the way it was presented in that film that I don't mind it. It's really the presentation. And also story would also help, where the story, I just was not, there was nothing in Danny Hall that really in, got me invested in it. There was nothing really that struck out to me to be fantastic and uh, sort of awe-inspiring, if anything. Though I've never really been awe-inspired by really any uh, Woody Allen film, to be honest. Um, uh, but again, uh, if you like the film, if you like Woody Allen's works in general, that is completely fine. Uh, I also tried to make that quite clear last week. You can like it. It's okay for you to like it. You don't need to agree with me on that or any movie I've even talked about on this channel. But, please know, I'm yes, I'm not a Woody Allen fan, so I even admit that could have been something that was... Uh, uh, something from the very get go, which sort of had this uh, had this bias of not enjoying Woody Allen's works overall, that could have somehow influenced my viewing experience. Even though every movie, no matter who makes it, who's in the cast, I always make sure any and all sort of preconceived notions I have about the filmmaker, an actor, an actress, whoever is involved with the movie, I throw out all of that, and I go in and hope to watch something that's very good. I did that with Annie Hall, and uh, to be honest, I, you know, if I didn't make this quite clear before, I like almost fell asleep at the very end of the film. I almost missed out because I was just so bored. I was just like, when is this going to end? And I have never before Annie Hall had that thought or not that thought but I have never almost fallen asleep that's what I want to say 
that has never happened to me before. And so for Annie Hall to do that for me just sucks out some other enjoyment I could have had. I, I just was not invested in the movie. Um, and, you know, I if you don't like the term boring in a critiquing of a film, I don't know what to say. Annie Hall was truly the very first movie of so, of outside of any franchise I enjoyed and loved from uh, way back when I was younger, either as a kid or as I got older and just grew to love a certain franchise. Because I've discussed some Star Wars entries and uh, Batman films that I'm not fond of. I might even talk about the Friday the 13th film or two that I'm not that fond of. Because I like that series, but, you know, there are some entries that I find to be quite weak. Um, but, you know, I still like the franchise. I still like Batman. I still like Star Wars overall. Even though there are, there is like a couple entries of Star Wars I am not fond of. I have expressed my fondness of Star Wars, which I think is quite, you know, obvious. But, you know, I just, you know, I get it that boring is not a very good term to use when talking about a film, whether you're doing a review or a critique. But if that's the only thing I can think of that is not, does not make me sound like I'm superior intellectually than you are by using some big word or anything, I'm going to use boring. And if people don't like that, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what to say. And I know, and I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm getting upset or angry, but you know, I've seen that before. It's never been addressed to me ever because I've hardly ever said I was bored by this or that film. Really, Annie Hall is the only film so far that I've talked about that uh, in recent memory I can even think of that I thought was boring. That I've talked about at all at any length on this channel so if you don't like that I don't know what to say that was my first attempt out of any franchise of me talking about a film I didn't like and I do want to sort of talk about other movies I didn't like or have not liked you know I don't know maybe I will watch Annie Hall again one day I remember I tried to watch it again, see how my view was, but I just was not interested after like 15 minutes. Uh, I was starting to get uh, fairly bored, and I'm like, I I just know I'm not going to, I'm not in a, either I'm not in the right state of mind to watch this right now, or this movie puts me in that state of mind where I'm going to be completely bored throughout the whole viewing of this film so maybe the film itself is something i should never watch again if i'm gonna just be bored though i might again attempt to rewatch it i don't know if <clears throat> that will happen and if it does happen i don't know if i will ever make another video on the film because you know it's just the film that i'm not fond of and that's okay if you like it you can even love it actually hell if people love it great you don't need to agree with me if people just agree with me on whoever watches it i think it'd be quite boring that's like can't have a conversation you know an interesting conversation um, and you know that's really all i have to say really uh because I don't want to go on and rant about this thing. I know so many people make it views, get a lot of attention and subscribers on YouTube by making a lot of videos that say, I don't like this, and I don't like that, and this is why, and they sort of go on a rant. I don't want to do that. I've only done, I've only done some sort of rant before about this whole lawsuit with Friday the 13th. And I'm just tired of it, and I don't ever really want to talk about it ever again until it's all over, which who knows when that'll be. But because I'm not so, I'm so uninterested, 
uninterested in Annie Hall because of how bored I was whenever I, when I watched it, when I've attempted to watch it. Uh, and even when I think about it, I get bored thinking about it. I, it might be best for me to never talk about the film again. Um, if I ever talk about the Oscars, I'll make sure never again address that film. Uh, because you know, I, I could possibly go on a little rant that would be boring and uninteresting. And nobody wants that when you're watching a video that's now over 15 minutes. Nobody wants to see that. Me go on to a rant right now and goes on for another 30, 40 minutes. About like an hour, about an hour video uh, with uninteresting things for me to say at some point because I'm sure I would probably get bored. And I sensed that last week as I was saying at the end of that video, I sort of stopped myself before I went on to some sort of rant about the film. I just didn't want to. I don't see how it would be worth it. I want to be more sort of positive when talking about movies. That's why I rarely, it's, it's, it's rare for me to talk about something I don't like. That was Annie Hall as a rare instance of this channel of me talking about not being fond of the film. Um, and, uh, you know, I might talk about some other films. Um, I can't think of any uh, films by, by Tarantino, I think, are boring exactly uh, even a film or two I'm not that fond of there's something uh, I get out of that uh, I mentioned Tarantino because Once Upon a Time in America is almost coming and I'll probably talk about that film and I'd like to talk about some of his movies so maybe within a week or so I might do that um, but yeah I just really wanted uh, to, to say something about uh, any critiques I have made on this channel at all. And if I ever do in the future regarding something as being boring, I will try to use other words, uh, particularly when it comes to films I dislike. You know, I disliked the film The Devil Inside. I thought that was just a horrendous film. I didn't find any enjoyment out of that. I just thought, ugh, this is just bad. Um, I don't know if <laughs> I'd want to rewatch that to refresh my memory as to why I thought that. Because I can remember it quite vividly as to why I didn't like it. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know if this video made much sense, but basically, I... It was best I didn't. I stopped talking about Annie Hall last week when I did. Uh, it just would have not have gone anywhere very constructive after that point. Uh, and again, here I'm gonna stop it now because I don't know. I don't want. And one more time, if you like Annie Hall, if you like the works of Woody Allen, that's fine. That's great. You can enjoy it all you want. You enjoy that film, enjoy his works. Somebody did tell, say to me in another video, which uh, having a conversation on, um, where they like Annie All thought of, uh, they th thought it was a fantastic film, and that any or uh, Woody Allen's films are hit or miss, and I agree with that. For me, most of his stuff is hit, is a miss. Rarely d is it a hit for me. Again, it comes to with the humor he injects into his films. For me, it, it doesn't really work. It sometimes works. Uh, so much so that I, I said rarely, but that's because I don't really like his stuff. I've rarely liked his works. Like, like Midnight in Paris, Radio Days, my two favorite films of his. It just works. I think it has to do with the settings and it just the, the interactions characters have with each other is a big thing with those films as to why I like those. Where Annie Hall just did nothing for me. I was just... Eh, eh. Um, so, he and I, uh, we respectfully disagree. 
we disagree that by uh, with Annie Hall, for instance. Um, and if he's watching this, you know, again, yo, hey, it's all right. It's all good that you like the film. Great. I just don't. I'm just not f fond of Woody Allen. Um, and you don't need to be fond of something I like. Uh, or a filmmaker, actor, or actress I like. It's all good. We can all have our own opinions. We can all have our own thoughts and so on and so forth. Film is subjective. Not everybody's going to like the same thing. Uh, and that's what's sort of great. It's sort of great that we can all agree on some things and disagree on others. And, but at the end, we can all still have a good time talking about something. And so I hope this video was not boring. Maybe last week was... was this video is boring. This video is sort of a clarification of that video. If it, it didn't make much sense. So, yeah. With that, I'll just say... See you all next time. I hope you all have a good day. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you next week.